All right, it's time for the next 6.5 Grindle video. I went ahead over to Cabela's now that the lockdown is starting to end and I found a new powder and I found some bullets. Got Cabela's to price match them and I picked them up. So we're gonna start out with 48.95 and the Hornady ELD M, 130 grain. So looking at, um, you know, some of the data that's out there, it looks like the max charge we're gonna see is somewhere around the 26.5 range. So we're gonna go ahead and start out low since I've never worked with this powder. We're gonna start out at 25 grains and work our way up to 25.9 grains. These bullets hit the lands in my rifle at 2.320 inches. We're gonna go ahead and load them at 2.285. We're gonna continue using the CCI 400 primers. They've been doing all right for us and I've got a, a lot of those left. So let's get out on the range. Let's see how these bullets shoot. All right, we're out here on the range. The target's at 100 yards. The orange circles on the target are one inch. We're shooting the 130 grain ELD match with Hotchkin 48.95. Starting out at 25 grains here. Gonna work our way up. The gun is nice and cold. I have not fired it today. Just sighted it in yesterday where I had the scope on a different gun. It's about maybe 55, 60 degrees. Pretty nice day to shoot. Not much wind either to speak of right now. All right, let's see how they shoot. All right, pretty good stop start there for uh, accuracy. Moving up to 25.3 grain. Right, moving up to 25.6 grain. All right, last group here, 25.9. All right, let's get down there to the target and check it out. All right, taking a look at the groups today. First load at 25.0. This was our best group by far. 0.564 inches, 22, 16 feet per second, and an excellent 6.3 standard deviation. So if this load wasn't, you know, at the very bottom, only 2,216 feet per second, I'd probably stop here and just use this load but hopefully we can find something on the top end that gives us some better accuracy um, and uh, consistent standard deviations like this load here. Moving on, 25.3, 1.352 inch group, 2250 feet per second, another great 6.7 standard deviation. Moving on to 25.6, the group increased to 1.808 inches. Velocity kind of plateaued there at 2251 feet per second with an 11.1 standard deviation. And moving on to our last group of the day, 25.9, a 1.589 inch group, 
and 2280 feet per second, 17.4 standard deviation. So I think in the next video, um, we're going to push on a little bit higher here, see if we can get a tight group um, above that 2300 feet per second with a good standard deviation, and I'll probably settle on that, and um, then maybe go do some longer range shooting with it. Looking at the brass from left to right, lowest to highest, uh, the primers look nice and round. Um, there's some old marks on this on the case heads of this brass, but this brass has been fired five or six times. So definitely nothing here. Um, safe to move on. And uh, we'll see what happens in the next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.